Mahira says, what is the concept of temporary marriages in Islam? Muta marriage. Muta marriage is agreed upon Ahlu Sunnati wal Jama'ah. It was in the beginning permitted for a certain period of time when there was a great need among the Muslims to have it. Then on the seventh year of Hijrah, the year of Khaybar, the Prophet ﷺ prohibited it and the ruling of it being permissible was abrogated and it became prohibited and haram. And the essence for marriage is stability, continuity, to have tranquility, compassion, mercy between the spouses, and also to have children. And if there were a divorce or a fatality or a death, then the, to have a idda, the waiting period, and to inherit one another, all of this is not found in temporary marriage known as muta, because it's an agreement, it's a contract between a man and a, and, a, and a woman to have sex for a specific period of time in exchange of a specific amount of money. Once the contract is over, there's no need to divorce. Once the time lapses and ends, there's no need for the divorce. There's no need for anything. They just split and they move on. Nowadays, this is considered to be another form of fornication or adultery. It's zina. The contract is invalid and the marriage is invalid. And the children are most likely, if there were children, because usually the agreement is not to have children, are born out of wedlock. And a woman in such a marriage is like a prostitute. She moves from one man to the other because it's a fixed contract, a day or two, a week or two, and then it's ended. Unlike normal marriages where the couple enter in such an institution, with the hope that this continues until one of them dies, till death do them apart. Now, one may argue, then why was it permitted in the beginning? This is a ruling from Allah Azza wa Jal. We have no right to question why was it allowed and then why was it prohibited later on. This is according to Allah's wisdom. At the time, there was a need for it. Allah permitted it. The companions used it. But after a while, it became prohibited once again. And since then, till date, the prohibition stands. And this is the vast majority of the opinion of all companions of the Prophet ﷺ. And even those like Ibn Abbas, who in the beginning thought it was still valid, was taught by Ali ibn Abi Talib and other great companions that this was abrogated. And you did not know about that. And he came back to the opinion of majority so that it was the consensus of all companions at a particular time that this was abrogated and haram. Now, only the Rafidah uh, practice this. And this is, again, against the belief of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, which is based on the Quran and on the prophetic Sunnah. And if you go to their leaders and their Imams and ask them, would they give their daughters to such marriages? 
they would fight against that and they would furiously say, no, this is not permissible for our daughters, for our uh, uh, sisters, but it is permissible for all other types of women, which shows you that this is not an Islamic concept. 